An Ed Elements consultant will work all over the country, probably four to five projects across the U.S. We have an East Coast team, a West Coast team. It's pretty common for somebody to be flying cross country or going from project to project. We're away from home a lot and we're away from loved ones and we miss significant moments. We do that because of how much we care about the work, how much we care about each other. We're so much stronger because of the work that we get to do with multiple projects. We get to learn from one and bring that to the next client and then we learn from that client and bring it to another one. Traveling, meeting, Zoom calls, a lot of planning time, work time, prepping for being on site. We're working across different time zones, different availability, different personal lives. So we're all pretty flexible and we have to try and make all of that work. Can I ask you, what well, last time we did the circles that were the beliefs around the vision? Okay. I can pull them up, but, but, but how are we like, how are they the same or different? Those, Those inform the, the buckets. When I get the chance to work with my teammates and bounce ideas back and forth, it's when I feel the most successful at my job. Then we have now ideas that are from all of the different nights together. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm just giving you a bunch of tools. This is gonna be up here for reference. If you wanna follow along, great. If not, you can just pause and use this in the future. The work that I used to do, I used to work primarily with teachers. I found that they were incredibly motivated and excited to do the work that they were doing, but something that was always really missing for them was that system support and that idea that principals and district leaders are supporting what they're doing in the classroom. And I think something that I get to do working in personalized learning as a consultant is help make all of those things come together and make sure that everybody is aligned. <laughs> Give me a solution. True. <laughs> I think what I thought was going to happen in this role was that I was going to show up to a district and do some professional development and leave. What I didn't expect was to really care about the people that we work with, to want to solve a lot of different problems. Andrea, nice to meet you. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. I don't know how much you know about what your teachers have been working on with like redesign. Has any, what's changed or what have you guys been working on? The first thing that every single person on this team does is build a relationship with the partner that we're working with. So we spend a lot of time getting to know their needs, getting to know the needs of the community, trying to understand our role, how they view us coming in and supporting. <laughs> Hello. We were wondering if we could observe for a little bit. Yeah. Is our tour guide. Come on in. Moments where I feel the most proud have been times when um, I've worked in collaboration with others and that together we've created something. And I think that happens a lot. The most meaningful time is when I see somebody use something that I've created or when I get to say, hey, I tried something that you did and it worked amazing. Or I have this idea for how to tweak it. We're always willing to learn from one another and that's something that is meaningful and humbling at the same time because we're so lucky to be able to do that with our peers. I think something that was really interesting that the kids identified in a few conversations I had was how much you all are taking a pulse on their feedback. Some of the things that I've learned about myself as a learner is that it doesn't stop. Even though it's been a while since I've been out of school, I'm still excited to learn something new and I think that that's something that I'll carry on regardless of the role. I think I can approach new places with excitement. Even when I travel, I'm a different traveler. I'm curious. I want to live the way people live in the area. I am way more confident now in the work that I'm able to create and try, and I'm, I'm confident in taking risks. I haven't had an experience in school, in college, even as a teacher, where I felt so excited to learn. Something about EE makes me want to be better. When people are able to bring their whole selves to work, our work is that much more powerful.